the circumference of the Earth means the distance from one end to the other is about 40,000 kilometers. And it is revolving around its axis at a speed of 16,000 kilometers per hour, completing one circle within 24 hours. But do you know? There is a big solid core inside the Earth that is continuously revolving and changes direction every 70 years. This solid core recently changed its direction, which became a headline in the news industry, that the Earth is about to be disrupted as a result of this change in the inner core. But the question is, is that really possible? How much authentic are these news? What is the solid core? Is its change in movement a big sign of destruction? Today you will know about all these things from a scientific point of view. Hello guys. Welcome to our channel, you are watching Inside Story. In human history, we were able to dig only a 12 km deep hole in the earth to know what the present downside was. This hole was dug in Russia and was almost 12 km deep. Its name was the Kola Super Deep Bore Hole. But after 12 kilometers, it became necessary to stop digging because the instruments and machines failed to dig any further. But today, because of new technology, we are able to know what is inside the Earth. There are many layers inside the Earth, but we can simply divide them into four categories. The first layer is the crust, which is the top or outer layer of the Earth, made up of solid rocks, and its depth is between 10 to 70 kilometers. The crust is very thin on the scale of the Earth as a whole. The temperature of the crust ranges from 500 to 1000 degrees Celsius. It is composed of two types of crust, the ocean crust and the continental crust. The ocean crust is thinner and denser than the continental crust, while the continental crust is thicker and less dense. The crust is composed of various types of rocks, including granite, basalt, and sedimentary rocks. It is also home to a wide range of life forms, including plants, animals, and humans. The second layer is the mantle. It is the layer beneath the crust, extending down to a depth of about 2,900 kilometers. The temperature of the mantle varies greatly, from 1,000 degrees Celsius near its boundary with the crust, to 3,700 degrees Celsius near its boundary with the core. It is the thickest layer of the Earth, accounting for 84% of the planet's volume. The mantle is made up of several layers, including the upper mantle, the transition zone, and the lower mantle. The upper mantle is solid, but it becomes more fluid, like as it approaches the lower mantle. The mantle is composed of dense, silicate-rich rock that is in a semi-liquid state due to the high temperature and pressure. The third layer is the outer core. The outer core is a liquid layer located beneath the mantle, extending from a depth of about 2,900 to 5,150 kilometers. It is composed of iron and nickel and has a temperature of about 4,000 to 5,000 degrees Celsius. The outer core is responsible for generating the Earth's magnetic field, which protects the planet from the harmful effects of solar radiation. The fourth and last layer is the inner core. It is the central layer of the Earth, located at the very center of the planet. It is approximately 1,220 kilometers in diameter and is composed of solid iron and nickel. The temperature of the inner core is estimated to be around 5,500 degrees Celsius, which is hotter than the surface of the Sun. Despite its high temperature, the inner core remains solid due to the immense pressure that exists at the center of the Earth. When an earthquake or a volcanic eruption occurs, it releases energy waves known as seismic waves. It is like the ripples created in water if you throw a stone in it. 
Seismic waves are like ripples that can travel through the inside of the Earth and on its surface. By measuring the timing and strength of these waves, we can study the structure of the Earth. Recently you all must have heard the news that the Earth's core has suddenly stopped rotating. Nature Science has published this news that the rotation of the Earth's core has slowed, and it will change its rotational position nearly. Two scientists from Peking University in China, Yi Yang and Xiaodong Sung, published a theory in National Geoscience saying that they have many proofs that the inner core has changed its rotation direction since 2009. The point is that the inner core is still present in the Earth's crust. So there is pressure from the outer core and mantle on it. Because of the liquid state of the outer core and its continuous rotation, it produces magnetic fields. This magnetic field rotates around the Earth and also impacts the inner core. Because of this pressure and magnetic field, the inner core changes its rotation direction every 70 years. But the most important question is, would this phenomena affect human lives? The answer is very simple. No, it would not. Hollywood released a movie in 2013 named The Core. This movie was based on the same phenomena. In this movie, they show that the core has stopped rotating, which impacts human lives very badly, and scientists dig a hole in the earth and blast a bomb into the inner core of the earth to restart its rotation. Really? However, it is a science fiction film. But you don't worry about that. Nothing is going to change in your life because of this event. I hope you like this video. If you do, kindly subscribe to our channel and leave a comment below. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Is everybody in the world blind?